No, let's just start over. This is a good way to, s yeah, let's just start it over. Ooh, okay, this is weird. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Paola. If you forgot, it's me. I'm back on my own channel and I talk about graphic design and art and my life. And I am officially here to update you all and come back to YouTube. I'm sorry, I'm I've missed you all a lot. So let me just update you on kind of everything and why I stopped filming and why everything has been weird <laughs> and maybe it hasn't felt weird for you but it's definitely been quiet over here maybe if you haven't followed me on other social media like you don't know what i've been up to at all so it probably seems really strange i don't know but anyway let me just update you on my whole life because there's a lot going on one where have i been <laughs> i have been dealing with a lot of real life, honestly. A lot of crazy life stuff and a lot of ups and downs for me personally and my mental health. And of course I say that and I take these breaks and it's just been a rough time, but I'm ready to come back. It might be a slow start coming back, but I'm definitely really excited to come back to making videos again, being excited again and caring. <laughs> like. I've always cared, but like caring in a real way where I want to make like amazing content for you. So it might be a slow transition back into it, but I'm here to update you all that I'm okay and I'm back. Let's get into everything else. So let me just talk to you about business, freelance, YouTube, all of this right now and why it has affected me personally, but mostly career wise. And all of this has been kind of chaotic for me. So the title of this video, I guess, kind of explains or starts to explain. I honestly reached a point in my career, in YouTube, in everything that I do, where it felt like I was completely unemployed. And let me explain. Inexplicably, YouTube has changed a lot of its algorithm and AdSense and all of that. And I used to be making a reasonable amount, a reasonable living, you could say, that at least helped me month to month. And now <laughs> it has reached a point with YouTube where I am making not even enough to afford groceries. <laughs> and that has been really discouraging. Um, I used to be growing a lot on YouTube. I'm not so much anymore. And this is not the type of video where I'm going to complain about life. I really just want to update you on like how things kind of fell apart and then came back together. So yeah, that's what's going on with YouTube. It, it has been a really big struggle, but I really appreciate you guys understanding me doing brand deals and stuff because obviously having an audience and having this platform, I still have amazing opportunities. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a lot of like hard things, but then good things that obviously come along with it. So yeah, YouTube itself, not doing much for me but it is my passion and i love it and now i feel like i can just regroup and refocus on making youtube videos for the fun of it and for you guys and really just caring and doing all of that because i love it and not because i'm like relying on the money i have now found other ways to make money but we'll get into that in a second but one of them is brand deals and I'm really just thankful that I have the opportunity and I'm really thankful that you guys pay attention to my brand deals. As you guys know, I work with like Adobe all the time, which is a dream come true. This, this is like life-changing stuff. It really is like amazing. It's just hard sometimes when you look at one thing and you say, oh, I'm a failure here. And then you look at one thing and you say, I have my dream job here. So that might sound confusing and dumb and maybe I sound ungrateful, but I'm really, really grateful. It's just crazy how much YouTube has changed recently in the past year where it has now become like nothing money wise for me. So it's just been really hard to regroup and like scramble and find other ways to handle my life and afford my life. So that kind of happened at the same time I was kind of dealing with personal things and so it made it really hard for me to want to upload and want to create videos and no other jobs were coming in. I had one brand deal at the time so that was barely making me any money and this was kind of a few months ago when I stopped uploading. So a lot of it kind of happened at once to the point where I unfortunately had to dip into my savings to pay rent and do things that I just needed to do to get by, like getting food. And obviously I have a partner who is amazing and has helped me through a lot of these hard times too, but it's just been really hard going back and forth, even trying to think like, do I need to go out and get a full-time job? And also how do I go about doing that, you know? So there was a lot of question marks and we got it together, but yes, it's been very, very rough for a while, not even making any money. So let's talk freelance. Freelance was not 
doing anything for me either. It was not pulling through and it's not really my priority. I've talked about that. I love YouTube and I love doing all that. And I'm just really sad that the part of my work that I really wanted to lean into started dropping, you know? So with freelance, it's not something I put all my energy into. I'm not always marketing myself as like an available freelance designer. Um, so that does limit myself <laughs> when I don't have jobs coming in. It is not bringing me any money, you know, things like that. But I was also trying there at the same time. So it felt like a lot of trying, trying, trying everything and then wondering why it wasn't paying off. So I was actively trying to work as a freelance designer in Sydney. I, I mean, I guess I still am. It's hard to explain, I guess. But working in Sydney, I'm trying to do that. And I have some connections. I have people like, you know, trying to help me out, which is great. But even then, those things don't always pan out, you know? I connected with a few different people and then they would say, oh yeah, we'll consider you for this project, but we're not gonna move forward right now. So then a lot of those things fell through. So it was like everything at once where I was literally at one point just making zero dollars, like zero. And I know not everything is about the money, but like in this time in life and the cost of living crisis, like yeah, it kind of is. And I can't just do hobbies, <laughs> um, which, you know, I've picked up a ton in the last few months doing nothing else because it felt hopeless. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm crocheting now, but I digress. Anyway, it was a lot. Freelance work has been a lot. I did one a one day freelance job for a brand um, a few months ago, and even that just overwhelmed me. And a lot of stuff has been really affecting my mental health, and I just have been feeling like I can't do it, you know? And that's really not the truth. <laughs> I really realized in the last little bit of time that I can do it. So in the last month, I really resigned to thinking like, I am unemployed. I'm going to sit here and I'm not going to freak out about it. I'm just going to handle it. I'm going to like, my friend was coming from the US to Australia and it was going to be the best month. And we were going to all the World Cup games and all this plan that we've had for like a year. And I said, you know what? I'm going to just let this happen, not freak out and regroup after and really get my life together, right? And I had a plan. And I'm, I'm working with Adobe in like a, a, like a community leader thing. So I'm working with them for the whole year, but you know, those things don't always, it takes the whole year. It's not just like immediate. So that's kind of the only thing I got going on, right? So I'm not gonna freak out, like it's fine. <laughs> but then something amazing happened and um, opportunities came. And it's so interesting how it happened right when my mindset switched, but more brand deals came in YouTube is still not <laughs> where it needs to be, obviously, but I'm ready to come back to it and really just, ugh, it's my love and I'm here to talk to you guys and connect with you and make designs and have fun. And then a few people reached out about freelance projects that kind of came through. So a lot of things have happened where now I'm back on track. Like I'm no longer <laughs> unemployed. And it really made me realize that I can do it. I can handle the hard things. I can handle the low times and I'm ready to just do it and do it well. <laughs> do what I do and do it well. Um, no more imposter syndrome, no more thinking that I don't deserve this job and no more doubting my design abilities. I'm so happy to be working with brands right now and hopefully you guys enjoy the content I've been posting. I mean, it's still design related, obviously. It's just like with Adobe attached to it, which is obviously a dream come true. Like Adobe is what I'm using anyway, so. That also brings me to my last thing i wanted to update you on i have decided to shut down my patreon so yeah it was all a lot it was all a lot of feeling like i didn't have it together but i'm finding it i'm figuring out how to get it together and i think you know things like networking and all of those things like they don't have to happen in such a static way jobs contacts, networking, all of that can happen so organically. It can happen through friends of friends. It can happen online just by you commenting on someone's post and starting a relationship, a professional relationship online and just being friends. There's so many ways to do things. So, you know, we're going to get into that on my channel more and more and I will not be offering any extra things on Patreon anymore because I want to be able to just offer those things for free. Um, it's hard out there for everyone. It's hard out there for me. A person like me wouldn't be subscribing to a Patreon at a time like this, and I totally understand 
people not subscribing to me so um yeah i i stopped the patreon it's ending because it's life and life is hard for all of us right now and i understand it i'm struggling and i'm you know pulling myself together and and figuring it out so yeah <laughs> that's the life update hopefully you watched the whole thing and you're excited about what i'm gonna do next i'm going to be filming more stuff about life too i'm going on a trip soon i'm gonna vlog there's a lot happening so yeah okay hopefully none of this came off as like ungrateful or weird or sad i don't know i'm i'm okay i'm just like rallying okay i i'm obsessed with all of you and i hope you know that and please comment below and we can talk more about work stuff and freelance and life and let's chat i miss you guys a lot so i'll see you in the next video very soon okay bye oh my goodness vulnerable <laughs>